Hi folks, Mikey Bly here. Today I'm playing a game called Damascus Current, uh, which is a game by Andrea Pignataro. I've played a couple of his games before and they're always so unique and different and odd, but good. Um, so apparently the aim of the game is make the right choices to acquire a floor seal, then shift the current floor once you've acquired its seal, use the Damascus Current to reset the current floor. So basically you can make decisions in each different scenario and then move along but you can shift backwards if you want to redo something but I stand by every single decision I make no matter how terrible it is so I you won't expect to see me shifting backwards all right whoa it's a bit wibbly wobbly whoa bridge oh shift backwards okay okay so whoa this is a lot we've got a lot to do here so reset current floor hmm so what do we do here do we click oh I'm tired. I live under this bridge. I'm just a child. Hungry and alone. How did you end up under the... Because what's with the rocks? Bread. Only covered with ants. Whoa, wait a minute. Disgusting to live for a day to die far away. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Back. Whoa, wait, 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 no, wait, how do I go back to the... I didn't want him to die. I wasn't meant to... Shit. Oh, you can go backwards. Okay, there we go. Holy jeez. Okay, I, I didn't quite figure out how you to do it. Let's try that again. So what's this up here? I don't know why this is wibbling wobbling so much. I do apologize. Oof. Stones may be too weak for a climb. Up and away? Oh, God, now what? An old friend looking for you, caring for you. Saving you? Oh! Oh, I guess I did it! But it looked like he was hanging. But I, I don't know. I guess that's what I was meant to do, right? Oh. Ooh, the vibrates. The vibrates. I hope this didn't give any more motion sickness. I do apologize. <laughs> I'm shocked. I don't know what happened. I think I lost my car in an accident. Hmm. So we have the phone. Or a car. Phone? No signal down here. The sky is listening. Uh, so what, we basically go left or right? I always go left. Hold on. They're coming. Safe and sound. Up the steady wall. I guess that's good. Yeah, we're acing it. Nice one. We were slightly spoopy house. Well, it's actually called house too. You're yeah, right, let's just do this so you can see the signs here. That makes more sense, doesn't it, right? I'm afraid he'll come back again. My bruises are still hurting. Ooh. So we replace one wooden slat in this door or we lock the garage? Front door, a sturdy lock. A quiet warning. A forbidden life. Ooh. He's back. The last drink... She took the blade deep in her guts. No, 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 no. I want to. I need to do that again. No. How do I reset? There we go. Reset. So let's never mind the front door then. Now let's try this. Weak planet loose enough to reward your efforts. A breach to a brand new hope. So we hide here at the side, or we run. Hiding is probably not going to work, is it? No, <gasps> hide out. Wait till he's back. Run for your life. Live for your love. So it's like all these little random scenarios. Street. It's like, it's like little miniature, little miniature lives just playing out in each little mini scene. That's, wow, that's so different. I'm sick. Just another pill will do the job. Let's hope I have enough money. Oh no, I don't do drugs. Don't know, you don't need drugs. Go and pet the kitty. Petting kitties gives you just as good a high as drugs. It may or may not be true, but you know what? Give me a kitty any day. Kitty, it's definitely a cat. Looks hungry. It's definitely a cat. Yeah, yeah, well spotted. What are we doing over here? Lady, she sees you. She calls you. She teases you. Hey. What's the deal? What's she doing teasing me? That's mean. Love, money can buy anything. 
spend your night away to live another day. I don't know if that was good or bad, but we got it. Whoa. Oh, is this homeless guy at the shops? I'm lost. I've wandered. I've begged. My home is nowhere to be found. What's this little thing over here? What's this little tiny doohickey? A homeless shelter flyer. Too far away for your legs. Oh, well, how was I meant to know that? What about the peeps over here? Oh, there's three. Oh, there's three straight. Really? It's not a group of people? What? Be precise. He's busy. Goodbye. God, it makes me feel bad. Oh, it makes me feel bad. What about the smoker? Cold. That smell. That look. Those eyes. You're both alone. Oh, jeez. Really made me go through all of them to get the... What the unhelpful? Who are you? Don't bother me. He's just a barren soul with angry eyes. Oh. Well, what else is... What else is there to click on? Oh wait, you click on the homeless shelter flyer and then ask one of these folks to help. Okay, so it's... Maybe it is the smoker. No. Was it really the one I thought was the, the coldest one? Oh, he gives you a ride to the shelter. A new home for your heart. <gasps> oh, there's one nice person. Oh, it's like little feel-good stories. Subway. This seems a little bit creepy. I'm sleepy. This is the last line of the day. If I miss it, it's the end. What, the, what do you mean the end? Just sleep in the subway. Don't sleep in the subway, darling. But there's a train. There's also this tiny little shadow here. What's this? A coin. A shiny and round, but time goes by. Vending machine, a warm coffee to stay awake until the next train comes. There we go, train approaching the platform, just in time. All aboard, well, that one's felt a bit easy, but I'm guessing if I clicked on the train first, I wouldn't have been able to get on it, I don't know. All right, at the mall now. This looks like the most abandoned barren mall in the world, except for this one person. I'm waiting. She said she'll come soon. There's no need to worry. Do, 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 do. Just been waiting all morning. That's fine. What is this, ice cream? Oh, a nice and refreshing way to spend your time while waiting for your friend. And is this my friend? Hi there. What is he doing here? He killed her and he'll kill you too? What? Wait. Okay, that was a bit weird. What's this then? A clock? It's really getting late. Maybe I should check if she's still at home. Oh, call her. She's not in her room. The mother said she left home an hour ago. Talk to the cop. A matter of time. A patrol car is looking for her. She'll be safe. Her boyfriend too. But behind some sturdy bars. So we prevented a murder? We prevented a murder! This makes me feel really accomplished. I feel like I'm really getting stuff done here. Helping homeless folks, helping poor hungry homeless kids, helping a guy out who lost his car, helping a homeless guy get to a shelter. I feel really good. I feel really good. Factory? Hmm. I'm Alan. Hi Alan, I'm Mikey. How are you doing? My boss called me. Shouldn't waste any time. Wait, bottom one? Intercom, the client is coming. Mike has your orders. I've got your orders. Talk, to, yes, talk to me. I said, so funny enough Alan, we just we just met, but I, I'm telling you what to do now. Cool? What about up here? Grain switch, lower the load, but there's no load. You're wasting my time. You're fired. Well, it seems a little bit less like 
it seems a little bit life changing. Well, it's life changing, I guess, but it seems a little bit less um, um, fatal than some of the other decisions we've had to make, to be honest. Okay, let's try that again. Duh, duh, duh. There we go. There's a lord to deliver. Steve just brought it upstairs. Click on the lord. It's secured with a locked hatch. These keys don't work. Oh my god. Talk to this dude. Steve, you asked him to go and lock the hatch for you. Steve, my good buddy. You done? Oops, Steve was a bit clumsy. The lord fell on you. It hurt. A lot. But your job is safe. <laughs> God, that doesn't feel like a win. That really doesn't feel that. I'll, I'll take this. I'll take this mystery, mysterious H symbol, but I don't feel great about it. Sorry, Alan. Don't sue us, please. Right, so we're in the town now. Well, I think we've been in the town all along, but now we've got a big view of it. This place looks nice. I like this. This looks like a York. The, 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 the kind of the, the black wooden boards on the white frames there, the white walls like that, it's very York-ish. It's just not the north in general, to be honest, of England. In fact, pretty much a big chunk of England, but well, it's definitely York-ish, and there's definitely a thief tiptoeing around the rooftops. I'm stealing. What to find? Good stuff. Sleeping people. Red-handed, they weren't asleep yet. Oh, no, I don't want to be thieving, though. How do I not thief? Oh, I have to keep, oh. I have to go in where there's no lights on. Good one, but it's not enough. Hmm. More? All right, that was close. Too bad, practice makes perfect. Damn it. Okay, fine. Duh, 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 duh. Hands up, was that a party? Oh, dang it. This is a weird one, this one. Why do I not just, why can I not just skip everything? I don't have to burgle anybody, I guess. Can I not burgle anybody? Is that how you win? Is that how you win? Not enough for the ransom. Not enough for her life. What? Wait a minute. That's the reason I was thieving? Oh, jeez, that's... Oh, God, so I have to remember which ones I can do. I can do this one. I can do this one. Can't do this one. Can't do this one. What about this one? Jewelry. Ooh, I can do that one, then. Heavy but valuable. Safe. The code is one, two, three, four. This feels like a trap. Painting. I mean, it's just a blue dog. That's evidently a reference to a really famous painting that I'm obviously not aware of. Is that good enough? Fruitful loot, sneaking back to your den, hoping this will be enough for the ransom. That just makes me feel bad. That just makes me feel bad having to steal from other folks to... Oh my gosh. But why would somebody kidnap someone and then leave a ransom note? But why would you kidnap someone from someone who couldn't afford to pay a ransom? You usually kidnap folks from rich families, unless I was rich and they assumed I still was and I'm not anymore. Gosh, so many questions. The pool. Quick, turn the water on. Let's <laughs> drown Jeff over here. I'm working. I have to clean this pool. No matter how sad I am. <laughs> I refill it with my tears every night. <laughs> I'm sad. I have to clean this pool no matter how loud I cry. Oh my God. I'm crying. I have to clean this pool, no matter how lonely I am. I'm lonely. I have to clean this pool, no matter how dim I am. No, 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 no. You can, you can be sad. You can be crying. You can be lonely, but don't, don't call yourself dim. Don't, don't, don't shoot yourself down like that. I'm dim. I have to clean this pool, no matter how hard I work. Oh god, does it just keep looping? It's the same thing. Was there any other separate options? I'm not, oh. oh. Pool at four two out of the pool, out of the loop, out of the loop. It was there all the time. 
the main hindrance to your mind. Cleaning the stupid pool? Yes. Escape the mundane and do something different. Break the chains. Ah, yes. Ooh. Boiler? What are we doing with the boiler? What are we doing with the boiler? I'm fixing. The pressure must be exactly at the value I'm told. Oh, so what value are you told? Set it to 14. And talk back. How, wait, how do we set it to 14? Because that's 5. Seven. That one's four. That one's two. That one's three. There we go. Aha. Boop. Set it to twenty. Okay, wait a second. Seven. Oh. Wait. Which one was two again? This one. Aha. Yes. These are the kind of puzzles I can get down with. Kinda, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Set it to 15. Okay, wait, I got it to 14 before, didn't I? And the one is at the end. Ye, eight, uh, seven, eight, ha ha. Oh, 10, seven, nine, 10. Okay, how many values do we need here? Perfect, they're all dead. Come back here. Wait. Wait, what do you mean all dead? Who's all dead? Why? What? What did we do? I don't... Wait. Hang on. No, wait, I didn't agree to that. Wait, I didn't... I did... The farm? Well, isn't this quaint? Hello, Scarecrow. I'm helping. My father asked me to put our only sheep on the cart. It's tightly tied with a thick rope. Get it, um, uh, um, uh, uh, worry, I'm gonna kill sheep. Side is dangerously sharp. Rope, it's like butter for the side. Yay! The sheep will be sold, but the money won't last. You're poorer than before. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, it's a trick. It's a trap. Put all the sheep on the cart. Sheep. She is. Oh, she the sheep. Funny sheep. You she the sheep. That's a lot of wool. Put the wool on the cart. There we go. It's worth less than a sheep, but it'll grow back soon. That's tink with your brain. That's how you do it, and that's how you be a good farmer and not a stupid farmer that sells his only sheep. And then has nothing left to sell. Why well, didn't I think that was a bad idea straight off the bat? Well, well, forest? Hello there, lady of the forest. How are you today? I'm magical. Bring me ten crystals and I'll grant you access to our realm. Who says I want access to your realm? Who says I'm not completely happy sitting here in this lovely park, eating my ham sandwich and drinking my can of beer? Huh? Why can't I just be happy enough doing that without needing to do some whimsical adventure? Fine. Fine, I'll do it. What do I need to do? How do I find 10 crystals? I... What are you meant to do here? Click on random things? I don't... Oh! Oh! Crystal! Oh, how did I not see that quicker? Crystal. Crystal. There's gonna be some kind of cop-out, isn't there, somewhere? Oh boy. Crystal! Um, Crystal! And, um, er, uh, crystal. Halfway there. Excited? Ex excited? Yeah. Oh, you're doing better than me. Four more crystals. Three more crystals. Two more crystals. One more crystal. And boopy de boop. Don't skis. No, this crystal is mine. Pick the correct glyph. And it'll be yours. What, we're meant to know which glyph's the correct one. Is it something to do with the door of the portal? Is it like half of the portal door? Is it like this weird one here? Oh, I got it right. Yay. Can I open the... Amazing. The portal is now open. 
I go in there and they just bloody beat me to death and eat me because they're all cannibals in this weird magical world. Um, Dark Realm, engulfed in nothingness, wandering through your memories. Shadows of a time where everything is forever lost. Your never-ending quest is claiming your life. See? Knew I should have just stayed eating my goddamn sandwich. Never, ever, ever go on whimsical adventures. It never ends up well, honestly. Oh, the ruin. Certainly looks ruinous. I'm patient. This is the place. You should be here in a minute. Wait, patient? Do I literally just have to sit here? Ah! The stuff. It's hot. Take it before I change my mind. So long. It disappears without a trace. It's a bomb. Too little time to run away. No! Boom, this is your new form. <laughs> okay, so what I should do is not talk to him then. Right? So if I just... If I just wait, yeah, and then not talk to him, will he blow up? Don't know if this is the right thing to do. Don't know if I do have to initiate contact first. <laughs> oh, gone again. Wait. Wait. Wait, was that not it? Oh, damn, maybe you do have to talk to him. Curses. Yeah, it looks like it's done. Oh, damn. Whoa. Oh. Wait, is this the same scenario? Oh, pretzels, freshly baked. Your pregnant wife will be over the moon. But how would we go from a bomb to pretzels? I mean, pretzels are a dab on, but, but, I mean, it's not, like, boom, but I don't, I'll take it. It was so weird. Ah, oh, airports. Equally exciting and depressing places, they really are. I thought that was what it was. I'm pregnant. My husband is out there. My daughter is inside me. What do you want me to do about that? An alias. You know, we've been thinking about names. My name is Elizabeth Cassandra. Oh, I get to pick Elizabeth or Cassandra. Elizabeth, bad name at all. A nice nine letter name. I wonder what she'll do when she grows up. Scientist, because dancing's cool and all. Don't get me wrong, dancing is a cool profession, but why shouldn't she be a gosh darn scientist? I bet she'll be a great scientist. She could be Super Liz the Super Scientist. What about love? This guy is... It can't be easy. Come on, you can't... Life's not like that. Due to weather conditions, the flight of your life has been delayed indefinitely. Updates will not come. No! I didn't want to give her to... Come on, you can't make... You can't be that easy. Okay, let's try this again. Elizabeth. Scientist. Okay, then clear. Dear Elizabeth. <laughs> love will come. Love always comes. You can be whoever you want to be. You can love whoever you want to love. The only measure of your words and your deeds will be the love you leave behind when you're done. Love never goes away. Oh, that was nice. The passage. I'm sure it's been a year since the dampened hole effect. I think they're finally coming. Who? Why? Oh, any moment. I guess I'll wait for them by reading a book. Okay. Guess it's story time then. This is actually the third time I've attempted to record this. I do apologise. My microphone is giving me issues and I've had to go away for a bit, hence the change of shirt. But let's read the story, shall we? There is a faint freshness in the London night, as though some strayed reveller of breeze had left his comrades in the Kentish uplands and had entered the town by stealth. The pavements are a little damp and shiny. Upon one's ears that at this late hour have become very acute, there hits the tap of a remote footfall. Louder and louder grow the taps, filling the whole night. And a black-cloaked figure passes by and goes tap.
stepping into the dark. One who has danced goes homewards. Somewhere a ball has closed its doors and ended. Its yellow lights are out. Its musicians are silent. Its dancers have all gone into the night air. And time has said of it, let it be past and over and among the things that I have put away. Shadows begin to detach themselves from their great gathering places, no less silently than those shadows that are thin and dead move homewards, the stealthy cats. Thus have we even in London our faint forebodings of the dawn's approach, which the birds and the beasts and the stars are crying aloud to the untrammeled fields. At what moment I know not. I perceive that the night itself is irrecoverably overthrown. It is suddenly revealed to me by the weary pallor of the street lamps that the streets are silent and nocturnal still. Not because there is any strength in night, but because men have not yet arisen from sleep to defy him. So have I seen dejected and untidy guards still bearing antique muskets in palatial gateways although the realms of the monarch that they guard have shrunk to a single province which no enemy yet has troubled to overrun. And it is now manifest from the aspect of the street lamps, those abashed dependents of night, that already English mountain peaks have seen the dawn, that the cliffs of Dover are standing white to the morning, that the sea mist has lifted and is pouring inland. And now men with the hose have come and are sluicing out the streets. They remind me of the key I normally use to cease my readings. Behold, now night is dead. What memories, what fancies throng one's mind? A night but just now gathered out of London by the hostile hand of time. A million common artificial things all cloaked for a while in mystery like beggars robed in purple and seated on dread thrones. Four million people asleep, dreaming perhaps. What worlds have they gone into? Whom have they met? But my thoughts are far off with Beth Mura in her loneliness, whose gates swing to and fro. To and fro they swing and creak and creak in the wind, but no one hears them. They are of green copper, very lovely, but no one sees them now. The desert wind pours sand into their hinges. No watchman comes to ease them. No guard goes round Bethmura's battlements. No enemy assails them. There are no lights in her houses, no footfall in her streets. She stands there dead and lonely beyond the hills of Hap. And I would see Bath Bethmura once again, but dare not. It is many a year, as they tell me, since Bethmura became desolate. A desolation is spoken of in taverns where sailors meet, and certain travellers have told me of it. I had hoped to see Bethmura once again. It is many a year ago, they say, when the vintage was last gathered in from the vineyards that I knew, where it is all desert now. It was a radiant day, and the people of the city were dancing by the vineyards, while here and there one played upon the calipac. The purple flowering shrubs were all in bloom, and the snow shone upon the hills of Hap. The key comes back into my mind, stronger than before. I try to envision its shape, but only a fleeting image, like a broken circle, has my attention. These are hints at how to solve this screen, I am sure of it. About keys and things. Outside the copper gates, they crushed the grapes in vats to make the syrabub. It had been a goodly vintage. In little gardens at the desert's edge, men beat the tamban and the titibuk and blew melodiously the zutibar. These are some of my new favorite words. Tamban, titibuk, zutibar. Love it. All there was mirth and song and dance, because the vintage had been gathered in, and there would be ample syrabub for the winter months, 
and much left over to exchange for turquoises and emeralds with the merchants who come down from Oxwan. Thus they rejoiced all day over their vintage on the narrow strip of cultivated ground that lay between Bethmura and the desert which meets the sky to the south. And when the heat of the day began to abate, and the sun drew near to the snows on the hills of Hap, the note of the Zutibar still rose clear from the gardens, and the brilliant dresses of the dancers still wound among the flowers. All that day, three men on mules had been noticed crossing the face of the hills of Hap. Backwards and forwards they moved as the track wound lower and lower, three little specks of black against the snow. They were seen first in very early morning up near the shoulder of Peel Jagannath, and seemed to be coming out of Udnavehi. All day they came, and in the evening, just before lights come out and colours change, they appeared before Bethmura's copper gates. They carried staves, such as messengers bear in those lands, and seemed somberly clad when the dancers all came round them with their green and lilac dresses. Those Europeans who were present and heard the message given were ignorant of the language and only caught the name of Utnavehi. But it was brief and passed rapidly from mouth to mouth, and almost at once the people burnt their vineyards and began to flee away from Beth Mura, going for the most part northwards, though some went to the east. They ran down out of their fair white houses and streamed through the copper gate. The throbbing of the tambang and the titibuk suddenly ceased with the note of the zutibar, and the clinking calipak stopped a moment after. The three strange travellers went back the way they came the instant their message was given. It was the hour when a light would have appeared in some high tower, and window after window would have poured into the dusk its lion frightening light, and the copper gates would have been fastened up. But no lights came out in windows there that night, and have not ever since, and those copper gates were left wide and have never shut, and the sound arose of the red fire crackling in the vineyards, and the pattering of feet fleeing softly. There were no cries, no other sounds at all, only the rapid and determined flight. They fled as swiftly and quietly as a herd of wild cattle flee when they suddenly see a man. It was as though something had befallen which had been feared for generations, which could only be escaped by instant flight, which left no time for indecision. Then fear took the Europeans also, and they too fled, and what the message was, I have never heard. Many believe that it was a message from Thubamlin, the mysterious emperor of those lands, who is never seen by man, advising that Bethmura should be left desolate. Others say that the message was one of warning from the gods, whether from friendly gods or from adverse ones they know not. And others hold that the plague was ravaging a line of cities over in Utnavehi, following the southwest wind for which many weeks had been blowing across them towards Bethmura. Alas, only now do I realize that one key is not enough. I recall of a second one, needed to be used shortly afterwards. Hmm, more hints about keys, and now there's two keys. Hmm. Some say that the terrible Mausar sickness was upon the three travellers, and that their very mules were dripping with it, and suppose that they were driven to the city by hunger, but suggest no better reason for so terrible a crime. But most believe that it was a message from the desert himself, who owns all the earth to the southwards, spoken with his peculiar cry to those three who knew his voice, men who had been out on the sand wastes without tents by night, who had been by day without water, men who had been out there where the desert mutters, and had grown to know his needs and his malevolence. They say that the desert had a need for Bethmura, that he wished to come into her lovely streets, and to send into her temples and her houses his storm winds draped with sand for he hates the sound and the sight of men in his old evil heart, and he would have Bethmura silent and undisturbed, save for the weird love he whispers at her gates. I love you, Bethmura. <laughs> I see the second key in a puddle while looking down at my feet, but its shape is strange. 
oddly rotated of about 90 degrees anti-clockwise from the position I remember. Huh. If I knew what the message was that the three men brought on mules and told in the copper gate, I think that I should go and see Beth Moura once again, for a great longing comes on me here in London to see once more that white and beautiful city, and yet I dare not, for I know not the danger I should have to face, whether I should risk the fury of unknown dreadful gods, or some disease unspeakable and slow, or the desert's curse, or torture in some little private room of the Emperor Thubamlin, or something that the travellers have not told, perhaps more fearful still. Well, that was a cool little story. How did you all like story time with Mikey? Huh? Mm, something a bit different, wasn't it? And it's a great way to wrap up the video. As you can see, because I've had to redo this, I've already recorded part two of this, because you can see I've got all of the other symbols at the bottom there. This is the only one I have yet to figure out. But I will figure it out. But if you want the chance to figure it out first, I will pop a link to this game in the description below. So you can all go and download it and play it yourselves and show me how stupid I am and how easy this puzzle actually is. Yeah. Alright, don't forget to want that like button if you've enjoyed this, and don't forget to want the subscribe button too if you want to stay up to date with my shenanigans. I've been Mike Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.